What's up, y'all? It's TJ with Faker to Make It. In today's review, we are going to be reviewing the Branded Bills Elite line of hats. Now, this was a pretty expensive hat, and so I figured we would do an unboxing and look at the features and decide whether or not this particular hat was worth the $50 that I paid for it. Anybody that wears a hat every single day knows that it can be difficult to find just the right hat with just the right fit. And being particular about hats, like I am, it's hard to find just that great hat that fits just perfect and looks good. So whenever you typically, whenever I typically find a hat that I like, I wear it until there's pretty much nothing left and it smells like Satan's anus. And these are all Richardson brand hats. This here is a Flex Fit Richardson. This was probably the best fitting and most comfortable hat I've had. This one here is just a workhorse and I usually wear it in the shop, but it has the company that I work for, their logo on it. So I can't really wear that in videos whenever it's showing. So that's why I have it taped up. And this is a snapback hat, which it's not bad. But whenever you wear it backwards and if you're working outside in the sun and you wear it backwards, you'll have a stupid looking tan line on your head from where the snapback is. This one is a really clean hat. I believe this is uh, Heather Gray. And um, it's just a really nice fitting hat. But again, it has a snapback, which isn't a deal breaker. But it is nice having a flex fit hat. Uh, dude, you know, just for the aesthetics and you don't have to worry about that stupid tan line now you can wash hats you can wash hats but i have found that if you wash them maybe twice after that second time they just completely start falling apart the bills don't act like they're supposed to they lose their shape and they just they're, they're never the same and in this part right here in particular the crown part starts losing its strength and it just gets floppy and sag and sags down on your head and it just looks goofy so pretty much for me hats are almost kind of disposable i'll wear it until there's nothing left of it and whenever it gets too gross i just throw it away and get another one and due to the fact that most businesses give hats out as a you know like a wearable business card and you know, I'm glad to receive free hats, you know, even if I have to wear one with a goofy logo on it. Um, you know, that's just the price you got to pay for the free hat is you have to advertise for somebody. But all that to say that the branded Bills hats are really cool and that you pay for it, but you get whatever you want on the crown. And you're not repping anybody but whatever the patch or emblem is on the hat and that's pretty cool but this particular hat the elite line from branded bills is pretty expensive it's the most i've ever paid for a cap and um I'm, i was a little apprehensive about whether or not i should buy this particular hat but if you look at it i wear a hat every single day and i just tear them up and move on so I really wanted to have a nice hat that I could wear every day, not necessarily work in. That's what I keep these old hats around for is to work out here in the shop and get gross and dirty and not worry about it. But this is going to be an everyday hat for going out in public. And whenever somebody walks by me, they don't gag because they smell my hat. It's pretty gross. So I'm going to go ahead and start opening this up and y'all get to see what I see as soon as I open it up. Got a little bit of tape right here. Cut that. Pretty neat box. But, you know, Branded Bills has some pretty cool branding. Oh man, I'm excited. Here it is. Just a return slip. I don't plan on returning it, so there's nothing else in the box other than the, than the return slip, so rather uneventful in that area. Branded Bills, if you watch this, which I doubt you will, be cool if y'all could throw a sticker in there, but um, I love stickers. 
So here you just have the cellophane bag that has the hat in it, has Brandy Bill's logo all over it. Pull it out of here. And I opted for the camo American flag. Now, let's see. This particular hat pretty much has the same profile as the Richardson, what is that? one 115CH. So it's not too far off. The crown looks maybe a little bit shorter. And uh, so, I mean, that's, that's not too big of a deal. Couple of cool features is that this stuff is made with uh, a type of material that is moisture wicking, uh, water resistant, kind of hydrophobic. And then back here in the back, it's got this uh, spandex type stuff. Not sure, not exactly sure the scientific name for it, but it is a snapback. Now, whenever I realized that it was a snapback and I paid, and I think it retails for like $47. Uh, don't quote me on that, but that's at the time that I purchased it, that's what it was. And plus shipping and everything, it was over 50 bucks. It... It's one of those things where it was a give and take. Now, the, the other one in the, in the Elite line is actually a fitted, and it had a little bit lower crown. This one has the right height of crown that I prefer, and the color is probably my favorite. I love this, this green color. I forget what they call it online, but this is a really nice looking hat. And the mesh is really nice, and I believe this is going to be nice and cool. And here on the inside, this is something that is that I thought was really innovative, is they took and put a, it's kind of like neoprene, like a neoprene foam in the headband. And so that kind of keeps helps keep the sweat out of your eyes and is really comfortable. There, I've had problems with these cheaper hats in the past, where the stitching is pretty hard on the old forehead and, and it could get uncomfortable after a while and I've even had them where stitches would actually scratch my head so that is a really nice upgrade to have that neoprene foam try to get it, foam liner right there this is the inside and it's kind of, it looks so much like a Richardson brand cap that, I mean, it's crazy. I, I, I would have to say that, I mean, if you, if it didn't say branded bills on the inside, I would, I would say that this was a Richardson cap. Um, but it does say branded bills on the logo on the inside. And uh, it's called the Elite Curved. Really nice. Let's see what it fits like. It's really nice and comfortable. Sits nice and forms to the head. This headband, the neoprene headband is fantastic. I think the color looks awesome. It fits. It's comfortable. I, I really dig it. It is, this is a really nice hat. Again, if you think, if you think about it, if you go to Lids or any other place like, you know, that sells the, I don't, I don't do sports. I don't like sports. So I don't rep sports teams. I don't wear any kind of sports attire, you know, with the logos or anything. You know, I, I can't stand sports. That's just, that's just me. I don't, I don't get into it. So what I wear is things that I like to be associated with and this is a camouflage American flag so it don't get much cooler than that but if you look at the price of even these Richardson caps online you have to buy a hundred of them in order to get them for uh, for a relatively decent price because they are made for advertisement these you can buy them all day long but even then uh, if you buy them on Amazon or something like that, they're still going to be 25 or 30 bucks. And that's just for a plain old 
Richardson, you know, advertising type hat. I mean, I wanted to have a bunch of fake it or make it hats made, but geez, they are so freaking expensive. By the time I get to stitching on the hats, the, the hat would be about as much as this. And nobody's going to buy a damn fake it or make it hat. I, I, not for $35 or $40. It's just not going to happen. I'm, I'm not, I, don't, <laughs> I don't have any delusions about that. But, I mean, it is what it is. The price of things are through the roof right now. Everything's hard to find. And it's just, it, it's kind of difficult. You know, e e even ball caps. Even ball caps. I talked to a buddy of mine that does the embroidery work and the t-shirts and, and the, the vinyl bit. He's in the vinyl business and everything. And I talked to him about doing some fake it or make it hats. And he started explaining to me how expensive these hats are right now. And hard to find like i've looked for this particular hat the 115 ch and it is hard to find especially in a decent color which is my second favorite color which is gray so you know you're just kind of kind of screwed so your only option you're left with is a place like branded bills and there's a there's quite a few places online like branded bills that they brand their own hats and they have you know different designs different colors combinations different patches this is my third branded bills hat and i really i really like their hats uh the first one i had was a texas a leather patch texas logo which was a nice hat so um and then the other one was a had a longhorn on it or something the cow not the football team um so I figured, you know, why not? This hat will probably last me a long time. I feel confident that it will exceed my previous experiences with these cheap Richardson hats. And at $47, I mean, you pay that much for a college football team hat or, a, you know, any other sports team uh, with their logo on the hat at lids, you'll, you'll pay, you'll pay what, $35, $40 for that. So, um, I actually get what I want with this hat. It's the color I want. It's got a patch that I like, and it's not ripping anything other than the good old US of A. So it is a lot of money, but I guess to each their own, some of you would probably think there ain't no way in hell I would buy a hat for $46, $47. And that's cool. That's cool. I mean, I, you know, it's one of those things where you, I get what I can afford. And if I can afford the nicer end of something, like if I could afford a saw stop table saw, I would definitely do it. But I can only afford the one that I inherited from my grandfather that is a 1953 model Delta Rockwell. So that's what I use. I could afford this hat, so that's the one I got, and I like it. I'm, I'm pleased with my purchase, and uh, I think it looks pretty good, too. Probably take a little while to break in, get formed in my big head. You know what they say about people with a big head? They wear a big-ass hat. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think down in the comments section. Do you think this hat was worth it? Have you bought one of these Branded Bill Elite hats? Is this a ridiculous purchase on my part? Just let me know what you think down in the comment section. I'd love to hear about it, and maybe we can discuss something. If you have experience with other hats and maybe have a less expensive option for a good hat to buy, let me know. I'd, I'm all ears. But anyway, y'all stay safe, and y'all come back now.